Meghan Markle thinks her husband Prince Harry could be in line to win a Grammy, a prestigious award in the music industry, for his rendition of his memoir Spear in audio form, it has been claimed. Harry could be considered for next year's Grammy for Best Spoken Word, Best Audiobook, Narration and Storytelling Recording, as he read the audiobook version of his autobiography released worldwide earlier this month. The source, described as an entertainment industry insider, told the Daily Mail. Com, has a natural storyteller, has a soothing voice and even sings on the audio version. The source referred to Prince Harry singing a few verses from Sir Elton John's Your Song, which the star performed at the concert marking the 10th anniversary of the death of Princess Diana in 2007. The source went on to claim the Duchess of Sussex thinks her husband is up there with President Obama when it comes to the chances of winning a Grammy. They said, it was Harry's decision to sing Elton John's song in the audiobook. Who knew he could sing? Meghan thinks Hess up there with President Obama, who won the same award a few years back. Hollywood loves him has got the gift of the gab and a fun sense of humor. Has the one with the star power. Barack Obama, who led the states from 2008 to 2016, won a Grammy Award for reading a memoir twice, first in 2006, following the publication of Dreams from My Father, and again in 2008, for The Audacity of Hope. Follow Express CO. UK below for updates. 43 minutes ago 09 colon 30 Alice Scarcy Princess Eugenie makes lifestyle change after son August inspires her to save world Princess Eugenie has decided to ditch all plastic products after being inspired by her son to try and protect the world for future generations. Eugenie says she is trying to educate her son about climate change and wants to do her bit to try and contribute to a greener planet. Speaking with Reuters from Davos, the princess said, My son's going to be an activist from two years old, which is in a couple of days. So, he, everything is for them. I talked to Peter Thompson the UN Special Envoy for Oceans and all he says to me is that I do this for my grandchildren. And that's the same. Every decision we now make has to be for whether August, what has going to be able to look at and do and how has going to live his life. Read the full story here one hour ago 08 colon 47 Alice Scarcy Harry blasted at Graceland as dark and claustrophobic and said the designer was on acid Prince Harry described the former home of rock legend Elvis Presley as dark and claustrophobic and said the interior designer must have been on acid. The Duke traveled to Tennessee in 2014 for the wedding of his and Prince William's close friend Guy Pelley who married Holiday and heiress Lizzie Wilson. Prior to the nuptials, Harry joined some of the wedding guests headed to Graceland for a visit. However, he recalled in his book Spare how the famous home of the rock legend did not leave a good impression on him. Read the full story here 2 hours ago 08 colon 10 Alice Scarcy Maxwell launches defense of Prince Andrew and claims Virginia Jufrey has faulty memory in an explosive interview with Talk TV on Monday, Ghislaine Maxwell desperately came to Prince Andrew's aid, discrediting the claims made against him. During an hour-long show on Talk TV, Maxwell blasted the infamous photo of her with Prince Andrew, showing his arm around accuser Virginia Roberts, now Jufri, then 17, as fake, sparking a furious backlash. Read the full story here 3 hours ago 07 36 Alice Scarcy Good morning good morning from London. I'm Alice Scarcy. I'll be bringing you all the latest developments on the royal family, titled Spare.
please feel free to get in touch with me as I work if you have a story or tips to share. Your thoughts are always welcome. Email, alice.scarcy at reachbook.com. Um.